What's up, nation? On this episode, we talk about the minimum calories you need, fatigue, finding the time to exercise, and I give some shout outs. What's up, Nation? Welcome to episode two of the TD Nation Kickstart Show. Hope you guys liked the video. Big shout outs to uh, David Jeffries for the intro. Uh, he did a really good job stepping our game up in TD Nation, so I'm excited about that. Hope everybody had a wonderful Father's Day. Uh, I did. I had a great day with my daughters and my wife. Went and saw the movie Inside Out. Highly recommend it. Um, I was not good with my nutrition though, I will admit that, uh, but overall it was a great day and uh, I'm good 90% of the time so it's okay if I have a day where I'm a little off. So back at it today and uh, just wanted to wish all the fathers out there in TD Nation happy Father's Day. Also wanted to remind you guys tonight 8pm Central we have a live broadcast, um, you have to be in the TD Nation group which is now almost 2,000 people. So TD Nation is exploding. Uh, the results are crazy. The boot camp results from this last week were insane. Uh, we had an average of over two and a half pounds lost per person for the first week of boot camp. Great job. So I want to give some shout outs. Um, first thing I want to do before shout outs and before we talk about personal victories is just answer a few questions and, and uh, address some things some people are having some struggles with. So I'm gonna go to uh, our fitness activity tracker form that people filled out and just go through a couple of these that I handpicked out. Um, we have 163 people going through the group, so I can't get to all of them, but I wanted to handpick out a couple. Um, the first one comes from, let's see, Bailey Halberstadt. Um, she's having some stomach aches, not being able to eat the food planned for each day. Um, she actually lost six pounds in the first week. So um, I'm not sure where the stomach aches are coming from since you know you guys are mostly eating uh, all whole foods, nothing really processed except um, except the you know the protein powder and um, shakeology and, and she is on shakeology. And that may be one of the one of the issues if you are lactose intolerant, um, can't handle dairy, and you're eating the regular Shakeology with whey protein, that may be where some of your stomach issues are coming from. Um, I would suggest switching over to the vegan, uh, the vegan Shakeology if, if you're lactose intolerant because the protein from the vegan um, Shakeology comes from pea and brown rice. So um, switch over to that. If, that. if you think that might be an itch issue, give it a try. Um, otherwise, um, you know, maybe start a food diary and see if there's something in there that, you know, some foods that we're eating that, that uh, are giving you a little bit of a stomach ache. So I'm um, not really sure. Uh, but check back with me on that. Let me know how that goes. Um, next person we've got uh, struggling with plantar fasciitis. So yeah, you know, I struggled. That's This is Ashley uh, Bertan. Um, I struggled with plantar fasciitis when I was heavier too. It's for those of you that don't know, it's basically the tendons and ligaments in the arch of your foot, and every time your foot goes down, you're stretching those out. It's really a painful, annoying kind of thing that's hard to get over because you're using your feet every day. Um, you know, one of the things you can do to, to keep your cardio up and your workouts up, um, if you've got it in your budget, pick up some battle ropes. Um, you can find them on Amazon or you know even Meyer and Walmart has them. But battle ropes are a great source of cardio um, that involve no impact. 
Um, I mean, your feet are firmly planted on the ground and you're using your arms and your core and get your heart rate really high and you're not uh, bouncing up and down and jumping. So most of my clients that I train that have back issues, knee issues, uh, plantar fasciitis, uh, when we need to do cardio, we'll hit battle ropes to still get their cardio in and avoid that uh, jumping and pounding on the body. So give that a shot. All right, uh, let's see. Next person. This is one of the questions uh, in the intro. Eating all the calories. Um, this comes from Donnell King. So um, eating a minimum of 1,300 calories. So the first thing I want to let you guys know is 13 calories, 1,300 calories for a female. Um, working out five to six days a week is not a lot. So um, that's like that should be your minimum. Like if if you feel like that's a lot of calories, my guess is you might have um, some metabolic damage and you're not used to eating properly. And that's what this boot camp does. We teach you to eat properly, get the right amounts of, of foods and nutrients into your body so that you can perform at optimal levels and so that your body doesn't hold on to everything. Um, how, however, that being said, it looks like you lost 2.8 pounds the first week. So. Hopefully you lost that 2.8 pounds eating 1,300 calories a day. Um, if you didn't, work really hard on getting those calories up um, to that 1,300. And uh, the first week's always a little tough because it takes a while for your body and your metabolism to adjust, but it will. Um, so do your best to get those 1,300 calories in. But you guys, you females should never be eating below 1,300, definitely not below 1,200, working out five to six days a week. Males, we want to keep that... Um, you know, we really don't want to go below 2,000, but never below 1,800. If you get, if you're a female and you get to that 1,200 a day, and you're a male and you get to that 1,800 a day, and you're working out five to six days a week and not losing weight, you have metabolic damage. Um, you should be losing weight. That calorie deficit is big enough. You should be losing weight. And uh, if you're not, it's an instant sign that your body is holding on to everything it can and that your metabolism is slowed down. And without metabolism, you're dead in the water, trust me. So we've got to work on repairing your metabolism. All right, next uh, question. Muscle cramps, uh, fatigue, um, hideous fatigue, she says. Um, or he, let me see who this is. Um, Kathy Fitzgerald says uh, fatigue. So... Um, and let's see, she lost seven pounds <laughs> the first week. So yeah, you know, that, that means your body, you're running at a huge calorie deficit. So you were probably an overloader before we started, meaning you were eating at a big, big calorie surplus. And now that you've got your nutrition locked in, we've dropped your calories a lot, a lot, especially if you lost seven pounds, um, in a week. So my advice to you would be to actually go ahead and up your calories so that you're not fatigued. We don't want you you know, really dragging. We, you know, being a little hungry is okay. We don't want you starving. Um, having headaches the first couple days is okay. Your body usually adjusts. Being a little tired the first couple days is okay. Being fatigued where you just don't have energy to do anything is not what we want. And if you lost seven pounds in the first week, you're at too big of a calorie deficit. So it's okay for you to go ahead and up your calories. Um, just take in bigger uh, portions if you want. Maybe even go to 15, 1600 calories if you want um, and see. We want that two to three pound weight loss per week is where we want you. That's a good, healthy uh, rate to lose weight. Even a pound a week is fine. You know, that's 52 pounds in a year. So um, and most people, the average right now was what, two and a half pounds per week, a little over that for everybody in this group. Um, that's 131 pounds in a year. So put that in perspective. Most people don't have 131 pounds in a year. Um, if you're doing this a healthy, right way, you're going to easily be able to get to where you want to be in, in three to nine months. So, um, so yeah, go ahead. You're, you're safe to increase your calories so you're not feeling as fatigued. Uh, being hungry the past few days, like we said, it's okay to be hungry. If you're at a calorie deficit, you are going to be hungry. We just don't want you starving. Um, and that person lost four pounds, so a little bit more than, than the average. So, um, you know, if, if, if you're starving, just, you know, just can't think of anything but eating, go ahead and up your calories too and get into that two to three pound weight loss per week is a good number. Um, hitting protein macros. So if you follow the, the food plan and, and the boot camp, it's laid out for you. There should be no reason you're not hitting your protein macros. So um, it looks like you lost five pounds. So you did a good job. Um, you know, maybe even probably weren't eating quite enough. So um, just work on it. Follow the nutrition plan that we've laid out for you. You'll hit your protein goals. 
Um, time to exercise. This other one I talked about in, in the intro. Um, I don't know what to tell you on the time to exercise. Look, here's the thing with time to exercise. If it's important to you, you're going to find time to do it. Um, if it's not, you're not. Anything that's a priority in your life, you're putting first and you're making time for it. Exercise has got to be a priority in your life. You've got to take care of yourself to take care of the people you love. Um, if you don't take care of yourself first, you may not be around to take care of your kids um, or you know, may not have the quality of life to take care of your parents later in life. Um, it's Taking care of yourself has got to be your number one priority to increase your quality of life later in life and also to just be there for everybody who needs you. Um, so it's, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. If, if you're not finding time, move it. If, you know, if life gets in the way, if work's too busy, if too many kid things are going on, go to bed 30 minutes earlier, wake up 30 minutes earlier and get your workout in before life can get in the way. Um, that's the, I, I know people that work 16 to 19 hours a day legitimately work 16 to 19 hours per day and never miss getting their hour workout in a day. So if they can do it, I know you can do it. When I was working 60 hours a week and building TD Nation and, and helping all my coaches and doing all those things, um, I was getting my hour workout in a day every day because it was a priority. So time is just not an excuse to me because I know everybody's got the time to do it if it's a priority. Um, all right, feeling comfortable posting in the group. Yeah, so that's that's a, a legitimate concern and I understand it. Um, I can promise you if you do, you're not gonna have anyone uh, lash out at you, make fun of you, criticize you, nothing like that. This group is amazing, totally full of supportive people who just wanna help you and see you succeed. So um, number one way you can succeed is to make connections with people in the group um, and lean on them. And you know, I'm still, best friends with some guys that I was in a group with four years ago and we even vacation together and we still to this day talk every day about what we're doing with our fitness and nutrition so um, I just encourage you to, to reach out and uh, ask people and for, for help and and comment on people's stuff and just get to know them it'll help you a lot all right let's see here let's do some weight loss shout outs all right um, so like I said we had 2.5 pounds lost per person the first week which is incredible um, that's 131 pounds over a year, so um, you guys are doing great. All right, let's just go down the list. Uh, first, our, our biggest loser was Brandy Prather. She lost 7.8 pounds. Brandy, great job. Make sure you feel okay. Make sure your energy's okay. Um, if you need help, let me know. If you need to increase your calories, you can. Um, but, but good job on the 7.8. All right, I'll just go through everybody. Bailey Halverstad, we already mentioned, lost 6 pounds. Uh, Joni Brown lost 5.2, Christy Neighbors lost 5, Amy Lutonen lost 5, Andrew McTeague lost 5.2, Kathy Fitzgerald Bale lost 7, Rod Lytle lost 4, uh, Chaylin Marie lost 4, Fred Riley lost 5, Fred's kicking butt, uh, Jam pa uh, Paez lost 5, Candace Mueller lost 4, Sarah Kairos lost 4.4, Michelle Birschbosch lost 4.9, Verna Soto lost four. Scott Davis lost 4.8. Sheila Fanning lost six. So great job, guys. There was, you know, like I said, the average was 2.5. So I just went ahead and, and I wish I could give shout outs to everybody, but I just grabbed the people that lost four and above. But everybody did amazing. Um, some, some things I wanted to address real quick. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the 163 who didn't lose weight. So I just wanted to go through those real quick, see if I can help you guys out. Um, Ashley Bertan didn't lose any. She's doing 21 day fix, uh, but she has plantar fasciitis. So I'm assuming, Ashley, that that's really affecting you. Um, just keep it up. It's only the first week. And uh, it could just be that you weren't eating enough before and now your body is, is, is adjusting. So keep doing what you're doing. Rachel Warner didn't lose any. Um, she's doing Body Beast, um, but she had trouble sticking with the food plan. So I'm not sure how close you were to our food plan, but um, if you were really close, then I would just say stick to it another week. Let's talk in a week and see how it goes. Anytime you make adjustments to your calories and macros, you want to wait two to three weeks to give your time, your body time to adjust and your metabolism time to adjust. So it really hasn't been long enough to start freaking out or making changes. Um, so just stick with it for now, but get as close as you can to the food plan so that we um, have a baseline 
to start from. Uh, Lisa John didn't lose any, but um, had some medical cha changes and stress. So yeah, I don't know what the medical changes were, but obviously if you're adjusting your medications or anything like that, it could be water retention. Stress is definitely going to cause you to hold on to things and, and not lose weight effectively. So um, just hang in there, give it another week, and let's see what happens. Kelly Vaughn um, didn't lose any, but she's only able to work out four days a week, and her program wasn't listed. So, and uh, and, and Joe Justice gained one. She had a problem with some food, with the food, and and program not listed. Also, so for those for those you two that where the program's not listed, I don't know at what intensity you're working out. I don't know how much you're doing resistance training, how much cardio training you're doing a week. I would highly encourage you to activate your free 30-day on-demand uh, Beachbody membership so then you have two thousand dollars worth of programs so you can go in there and pick and choose between trainers and see which workouts you want to do and then pick a program and and do it um, because it's going to lay everything out for you intensity uh, what work muscle groups to work when to work them how much rest to do in between sets um, all that stuff there's just too much to know when you're starting out with fitness if if you're not a personal trainer um, there's just too much to know to do this on your own effectively. I mean, you can do it and, it, and it'll work, but the results are going to be slow. If you want your results to be really quick, like like we're seeing a lot of our members have, um, you need to be doing a Beachbody program uh, because their trainers are, are are highly skilled, and there was a lot of science that went into developing these programs, and and they put all these they put a lot of people through test groups before the programs came out to make sure that they worked. Um, so. You know, I would highly encourage you to do that. It's the cheapest way you're going to get a well. Shoot, 30 days of on demand is free right now, so I would activate it. Um, do a program; it will really help with your results. Um, Melanie Butts didn't lose any, but um, she's doing Shalene Extreme. So, Melanie, again, you, you know, you could be somebody that just wasn't eating enough before, and your body's taking time to adjust. So, keep it up. And then Patty Mayer. Um, didn't, didn't gain any weight, but she can't work out. She's dealing with an injury, and she's been doing this for a while and had a lot of success. So um, the good news is to all you guys that didn't gain weight, um, you know, that's that's a good thing. Um, just keep it up. Your body's going to adjust to this, and it's going to start realizing that, that you're not giving up and that it needs to make adjustments to make what you're doing easier. That's the great thing about our bodies. They're very smart. They are very adaptive. So whatever we put them through they make corrections to make it easier for us. Um, so keep with it, your body will adjust, but again, we're only in week one, so no need to panic yet, which is awesome. All right, last thing I wanted to go over is uh, personal victories. So I got a few on here. Again, there were tons, but I just wanna, I just picked out a few, so. Um, first one is, let's see, come on computer. Uh, oh, Bailey, Bailey Halberstadt again. Um, she has a flatter stomach and pants are fitting better. So that's exciting. Um, let's see, 731. Elizabeth uh, Arleo said, um, recipes are delightful, never go hungry, and this is, boot camp is awesome. So that's good to know. That's awesome. Um, this person said, uh, let's see who's 735 is being very active on vacation. So that was a personal victory. Christy Arnett was active on vacation, which is great. So here's a tip I'll give you guys for, uh, for vacation. So if you go on vacation and you know, you may not have, um, like, like we went to Destin, Florida earlier this year and, uh, stayed in a condo. So didn't have a gym. Um, but I went down to the beach every morning and just worked out. So what I did was, um, uh, something I learned from Tony Horton called UMCL, upper, middle, cardio, lower. So you got four moves in one set. Each move can be 30, 30 seconds to a minute with like 15 seconds to 30 seconds rest in between each move. And you just pick, you know, four moves that you want to do. So your upper move could be push-ups, your middle move could be crunches, your cardio move could be jumping jacks, and your lower move could be body squats. And you're just going through all those. Um, and you do as many sets as you can. That is a full body workout, calorie torture with no weights needed. 
Um, and you know, every set you can change up the moves if you want. Um, add some burpees in there for Joey if you want for your cardio move. But you know, whatever. You can just make it up as you go. Um, and I promise it'll be a great workout. But staying active on vacation is very easy. And then another thing I do on vacation is I like to um, enjoy myself on vacation, but I don't want to, you know, give in to gluttony. So you know, usually in the morning I'll have my Shakeology. I'll have a healthy breakfast with healthy snacks throughout the day, and then I enjoy myself for dinner. And when I come home, I'm only, you know, up a couple pounds, not like 10 to 15, you know, so. Um, all right, next person, um, there's no question, Lance, I finally hit a certain amount of weight. The scales were stuck since May, haven't been this weight in years. So let's see who that is. That's exciting. Oh, Sandy, good job, Sandy. Um, Let's go. Um, increased energy, feel better overall, great. Um, all right, Fred Riley, I, I wanted to give Fred a special shout out because this is really exciting. For those of you that know Fred, he's started at like 650 pounds and has lost almost 300 now. Um, and you know, it's I, I can empathize with a lot of people, but I don't know what Fred has really had to go through in this journey, and this is pretty incredible. So. One of his um, non-scale victories this week was, he says, I can get down on the ground and back up now. You don't know what a relief that is to know if you fall, you aren't stuck until 911 arrives. Uh, it may have been the most relief I've had since I started. Thank you for helping us, Lance. TD Nation is really helping people. So that's so incredible. Um, you know, that's things I don't think about that are that are so tough on some of you guys. Um, and I, I cannot imagine what a relief that is to know that, if you fall on the ground, that that you don't have to call anybody. Um, that it's got to be such a weight off your shoulders. And uh, but you know, um, uh, thanks for thinking of me. But I didn't do all the hard work, Fred. This is all you, man. You did all the hard work. Um, I'm just giving you tips along the way. Um, so great job to you. Keep it up. This is only the beginning, man. You're gonna you're you're inspiring a lot of people in our group. So. Um, all right, so this person said uh, they need a new wardrobe, which is funny because, yeah, um, you know, weight, weight loss can get expensive in that way. <laughs> um, all right, ran 14.6 miles last Sunday. Wow, who is that? Let's see. Uh, Francis, great job, Francis. That's a huge accomplishment. I've never ran that. Well, I have actually, but not continuously. It was in a Spartan race, but great job. Um all right, ran 12 miles at a seven minute, seven second pace. Holy cow, who was that? That's cooking. Oh, Mark, Mark Birschbach. Um, great job, Mark, that's incredible. Um, running fast. And uh, and then his wife, Michelle, um, biked 15 miles as she continues to train for a triathlon. So yay, good job, Michelle. I cannot wait to see you accomplish this goal. That's the last thing I wanted to tell you guys. We talk about it all the time, but make sure you're training for more than just a calorie burn in a workout. Um, if you're just training to hit a certain calorie burn, training is going to get boring and, uh, and you're eventually going to quit. So make long-term goals. Train for something, whether it's triathlon, running a 5K, running a 10K, running a half marathon, full marathon, lifting a certain amount in weight, uh, being able to do a pull-up or push-up. Set goals for yourself with a time limit and then train for that goal and training and working out suddenly will become fun and not just something you have to do so all right guys have a wonderful week hope you enjoyed the show um uh 22 minutes that's good we will talk to you on episode three later